What is going on everybody? How are you? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another top 10 Blu-ray release video. This time we'll be talking about the top 10 horror releases for November. Definitely check out yesterday's video that I posted which was the top 10 steelbooks of November and there are some super cool steelbooks coming out in November. Super cool steelbooks coming out in November. You'll definitely want to check that out. A lot of catalog titles but a couple new releases are sprinkled in there as well. And before we dive into the top 10 horror releases of November, I wanted to quickly mention that I posted an unboxing of this amazing big box VHS set from Witter Entertainment and Broke Horror Fan of Mandy. And I wanted to shed a little bit of light on Witter Entertainment because the work they're doing is amazing. Uh, you'll definitely want to check out this unboxing. I've got a few of their uh, releases so far. I've got the uh, Puppet Master Littlest Reich and the Woman. Uh, from Lucky McKee, written uh, based on the Jack Ketchum novel. They are doing some amazing work. I found them through Instagram, so definitely head to WitterEntertainment.com or Broke Horror Fan or Witter Entertainment on Instagram. Tell them Movie Watch Daily sent you. Tell them I said hello, and uh, definitely check out their releases because they put out some beautiful work. I'll link that uh, Mandy unboxing below. So without further ado, let's jump into the top ten horror releases of November. As I said in the Steelbook yesterday, being that there is not a lot of new releases, we're seeing just a ton of catalog titles, not a lot of new stuff, so it's a little slow on the new release end, but I did manage to dig up some interesting releases for you horror fans. So what have you three got planned for this evening? Oh, you know, just quiet night in with the girls. Bed by midnight, okay? Hey guys, I'm late for a party! Our first release will be released November 10th, and that is Hammer Films, 1960 Brides of Dracula, starring Peter Cushing. Admittedly, this is one I haven't seen, and it's also just part of an era of horror that I have not really dipped my toes into too much. I really have, I owe it to myself to check out some of these older films, the Universal Monsters films, the Hammer horror films. I just have not, um, for whatever reason, dug into that era of films, and I know there's so many good movies um, to check out, so I have got to dive into those movies, those cool Technicolor 60s horror films. Um, I've never even seen a Peter Cushing film. Isn't that terrible? So I really need to dive into some of those films. So if you're interested in 1960 Brides of Dracula starring Peter Cushing, that will be released November 10th. Also November 10th is the VHS big box edition of Tourist Trap Uncut. It will be released in an edition like this. This is the Puppet Master version. These big box style VHS signed by Charles Band. They're super, super cool. They come with a little figure inside there. This one comes with a little Mr. Slauson figure and a Blu-ray and a DVD. I think the signed version is already sold out, but the regular edition that's unsigned is still available. Tourist Trap is a really fun movie, so definitely check that out. That's on fullmoondirect.com. Uh, also, November 10th, Herschel Gordon Lewis Collection. This is the standard edition of a previous release that they did a year or so ago, maybe. Uh, 14 films on seven discs. I think the difference between this and the old one, and if, any, if I'm wrong, please correct me below, but the previous ver version was a limited edition that came with like a booklet and maybe a bonus disc, so this is a standard edition. I, when I was researching this thing, they've released several box sets in a few different kinds. I know the Shock and Gore, like the massive uh, set goes for like four or five hundred bucks now and then they released another smaller set that's out of print as well and now this one is released. Definitely let me know if anybody knows any specifics about this set but I think this is just the standard version of the previous release. It comes from Arrow Video. Next up also from Full Moon is the first Blade Puppet standalone movie. Yes, it's 2020. Of all the bullshit going on, at least we have a standalone Blade movie. It looked pretty funny. That'll be available on November 10th as well. Now moving on to November 11th uh, from Ronin Flicks. Now this is a really cool edition of I Spit on Your Grave. Now I am not the biggest fan of this movie. I like the original more than I do the remakes, but 1979's I Spit on Your Grave is getting a badass uh, 4K uncut scan of the original movie in a package also along with I Spit on Your Grave Deja Vu, a 44-page booklet, a deluxe slipcase, 
two collectible mini posters, uh, two replica VHS box style magnets. It's a three disc set. It's a really, really nice set from Ronin Flicks and it is limited. So uh, jump on that. I'll link that below as well. Next up, November 17th brings the release of the Resident Evil Complete Live Action Film Series Limited Edition box set. If you're a fan of the Resident Evil, um, if you're a fan of the Resident Evil series and have yet to pick those up, uh, a full set of all 4K versions of the films, all six films, will be released on November 17th in a pretty cool package. Check that one out. Um, it says it's limited. I'm not sure why that would be a limited set, but it says it's limited. Next up, also on November 17th, the Hammer Film Collection. Film spanning from 1958 to 1971. I'll put up a graphic here with all the different films. This is a really cool set, and this might be a good introduction for me to kind of get into all these films. As I was saying, I haven't seen uh, these movies, so I may end up picking, with this, picking this one up. It looks pretty damn cool. Next up, Beyond the Door from 1974. This is the Arrow Video single disc release. This got, you know, on most of these movies, they'll release a limited edition, and then a little further down the line, they'll release a single disc edition without the little booklet and the extra disc. You usually don't miss out on too many special features. Usually it's just one or two kind of things they put on uh, the limited th disc, so you're not missing a lot by getting the, the standard edition. It's still a great edition. It won't come with a slip cover. That's another drawback of the standard editions but uh, if you are a fan of Beyond the Door it's a little Exorcist ripoff but it's a pretty fun movie that will be released November 17th okay and finally just I wanted to mention a few releases from Vinegar Syndrome couple of Mexican horror films, Cemetery of Terror and Rest in Pieces. Uh, the art on those look awesome. They look like some really interesting movies. Of course, you can always count on Vinegar Syndrome to find these really cool, obscure films to uh, check out. Most of the ones that I buy from Vinegar Syndrome end up being blood uh end up being blind buys with the exception of like rad or tammy and the t-rex and films like that they put out some really awesome stuff so uh definitely check out those releases from vinegar syndrome and that is really it it has really been slow moving on the new releases so as far as horror goes, there's not a lot to sink your teeth into for November, but we'll see what happens in December. Maybe we'll get some cool releases, but that's all the stuff I got. Definitely check out the Witter Entertainment VHS unboxing. Check out my top 10 steelbook releases, and that'll do it for today, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. Stay weird, and until next time, bye. I love movies. Gosh, I love movies. I love watching them, and I love making them. Nah, I can't do it.